people i've seen a lot of people asking the same type of questions recently on the game forums reddit and even in game so basically the questions uh, relate to price checks and knowing the value of items knowing what to keep versus what to salvage avoiding paying taxes for items that are not going to sell and get, getting the most value of what they have and so i thought i would share uh, my knowledge and basically the questions that i ask myself when i when i have to determine the value of anything in this game um and that's coming from someone who has more than four thousand four thousand hours playing this game and um i always focused on the on the, econ the economy of this game I, I flipped a lot of items and so i just hope i can help you uh, make better decisions in the future may and maybe even save some of your time so let's start with the first question is the piece of gear i'm looking at 590 plus gear score if the answer is yes then it probably has some value and if the answer is no i would just salvage it unless it's a, a specific piece of gear for you know a profession the second question I ask myself is, what is the attribute on that item? Is it a mixed attribute? Meaning, is it a strength dex, strength int, strength focus, strength con? Strength con has some value because anything with an attribute plus con is most likely valuable for someone because constitution is the most versatile attribute in the game most builds in the game want some constitution uh, the exception being some light dps um, players but then um, they might still even be using 50 con it just means that it's not as valuable for them because uh, they're limited in the number of pieces in their um, of gear that can have con uh, for them and so basically anything with con plus another attribute is most likely going to be valuable and then, of course, anything that is a single attribute is also valuable in this game. And so, just to uh, summarize already, um, 590 plus gear score, single attribute, or mixed attribute between um, strength or any attribute really plus con is something I would keep looking at. Um, if it doesn't check that, those boxes, I, I would say you probably already should salvage that piece. How do I know uh, what attribute is good on um, you know, a specific piece of gear? So to answer that question, you should look at, um, or actually you can just press K, it's faster, but you can look at your character, weapon mastery, and um, look at the different weapons in the game. And on the bottom left, you're gonna see damage scales with strength. So basically I know that great axes are going to scale with strength, and so I know that anything that is strength, strength con, or constitution is going to be valuable for a great axe. The most value is going to be um, single attribute strength, um, at, at least for most people. And so once you know the different attributes and uh, associated with each weapon, the, the next question um, that you should ask yourself is, what is the weight um, that, of course, doesn't... Um, doesn't apply to weapons, but for uh, the apparel uh, or uh, gear, uh, the armor pieces, pieces I should say, uh, you want to have a look at the weight class of the item. And so if it's a medium piece, I want to ask myself, okay, so that specific piece of gear, let's say medium boots with strength, I want to know who uses that. And how do I answer that question? That's a bit harder, and that's where... Uh, most new players get lost is you need to have some idea of what is being played in terms of builds in this game um, there's really not a simple answer to that but i would tell you look at wars discuss with other players learn about their builds and what they need in their build um, what is the meta of the game basically i know it's a very complicated question and i cannot answer that in a single video but just discuss learn about the game play the game and you're going to have a better idea of what a certain build um, uses in terms of weight or if you prefer equip load and so i know that vgig can be played in light medium and heavy and then i also know what type of perks each of those equip loads uh, are looking for what is their bis um, 
So just to give an example, I know that on the chest, ideally you want shirking port, resilient, and freedom. But then you could also use uh, refreshing ward if you're on point, just to give a specific example, because there are a lot of blunder buses on point. And so shirking port, resilient, refreshing ward, or freedom, or even a weapon perk that is uh, desirable for that build in that meta, it's something that I know is going to have a lot of value. But then again, I know it's not something that is easy for a new player to determine. So just be patient and keep asking questions. Be curious, learn about the meta, look at wars. You can look at streamers uh, like Yaboy yeah Willy and, and other streamers that you know will stream wars. And you'll see the different builds that are being played in a war and you'll have a better understanding of what is desirable because to be um, to be quite honest, the, the more a build is um, meta in a war, the more the pieces of gear for that build uh, are, the more expensive they are going to be. Why? Because wars are how you get control or keep control of a territory and the taxes and the income that comes with those taxes um, is, well, basically one of the main uh, money making ways for uh, the top competitive players in this game. And so basically, if you have better gear, you have better odds of winning wars. And that means that you're going to have more income uh, from taxes. And basically, that makes the gear <laughs> more valuable, to put it simply, uh, the more um, it's desirable for, um, for the PvP crowd, uh, the meta PvP crowd in this game. And so just keep that in mind and watch uh, as many wars as you can, try to understand the meta. Um, then the next question you want to ask yourself is, if I was to um, create that same piece of gear, how much would it would that cost me? So you need to uh, basically m make some research and try to understand which perk is really expensive, which one is not. So Shirt King for certification, I know that I need vines to um, craft the well have that perk on a piece of gear and i know it, it's around fourteen thousand gold uh in the current economy i know that refreshing needs um uh just one sec the name is animus a uh, brilliant animus i believe brilliant so brilliant animus uh so that's about six thousand each maybe even more um so yeah I know that if I want to craft a piece like that, I'm most likely going to uh, lock in Shirking Fort and Refreshing and hope for Resilient as a last perk. And that's going to be really expensive, probably around 40 uh, crafts just to get those uh, as similar pens to those. And that's using Golden Scarabs and all that. So, um, you know, it's not worth crafting that piece, but then how much is it worth? Still, it's still a question at that point because there's there are more questions to be asked to get the answer. In in that uh, in that scenario, uh, it's really easy to see the, that actually you should not be crafting a piece if you want those specific perks on your gear. You should just be farming the regular pens, right? How do I know if an item has a uh, named items? Uh, sorry, if if named items already exist with similar or the same perks as the ones uh, as the one uh, or the item I have uh, dropped or I, I was thinking of crafting, um, the answer is you go on a New World database or any other site that has a, a database uh, of the items in the game, and you filter to only check for named items, and then you check for the specific perks um, um, that well of the item you're looking for and. You know that if, a, um, if, for example, you know if regular pens exist um, in the game, that means that anything that is shirking port, refreshing, resilient, with full uh, constitution and in uh, light um, uh, for light pens, um, you know that it cannot be worth too much. Basically, it's worth um, the time um, that you would be spending farming those pens. Um, 
if not less, uh, depending on how easy the, the, um, the farm is for that given named item. So basically, um, once you ask yourself all those questions, and just to summarize, is the item 590 plus gear score? Does it have the right attributes for the, the type of item? If there's a weapon perk on um, the weapon or the armor, is it one that is valuable for that build? Again, it goes back to the meta and what is being played, what is desirable on certain pieces of gear. So just to give an example, on a bow, you should know that uh, penetrating rapid shot and um, empowering explosive arrow are desirable perks, but um, the refreshing penetrating shot is not desirable. So if you do find a piece that has resilient um, refreshing evasion, which are two very, very desirable perks for uh, any bow player, if the third perk is penetrating shot, it's nowhere near the value of a piece that would have penetrating rapid shot or an empowering explosive arrow. So basically you need to know what perks or weapon perks are desirable if they have one on the gear. Um, if it doesn't have one of those weapon perks on the gear, you need to ask yourself how much and how rare. Uh, so basically, how much are the, um, the components, the crafting mods for that specific perk? And how rare is it to get that uh, specific role? To know how, um, how rare a specific role is, um, I'll link the, um, the link in the description. Uh, but basically, you can use uh, Aeternum Craft, and you basically choose the um, uh, the type of uh, the the piece of gear that you're rolling or uh, that you want to price check, and you just um, you select the perks that are going to be on the the, the item. Most of the time, it's um, the the best way to check is selecting Golden Scarab looking at the perks and then you do calculate most efficient charm and that's going to tell you how much um well how many rolls it's going to take and therefore how much it's going uh, to cost you an average to get that item most of the time it's better to buy gear uh, on the trading post and um but it's, it's still a good way to craft a, a piece and to know should i buy or should i craft um and it gives you an idea of how much it should be worth if um, it's a super rare combination or a very expensive one. Just to give an example again, shirking port, resilient, full constitution, heavy chest. Um, you know that if the third perk that you roll, uh, because let's assume you rolled 600, you, you know that if you hit freedom, refreshing, refreshing ward, or even refreshing evasion, then you're certainly above 100,000 and maybe up to 800 if you have um, freedom uh, on that on that specific piece of gear. And some weapon perks are also desirable, but then you need to know which builds in that meta would use those perks with that attribute on that weight of armor and, and, and just determine if the weapon perks is something that makes sense for all that. So I, I know it might be disappointing to some people, especially new players, but the answer uh, to your questions is look at wars, determine what the, the war meta is like, um, how much would it cost you to roll those pieces, and basically that will give you an idea of approximately how much it's worth. And then, um, but of course, you should always, the, the first step would, should always be just to check. So, um, resilient, shrinking port. Just to give an example, and then you say, I only want those perks that I selected, so you don't have any other results. You say 590 plus, full con, because that's the piece we're looking for. Then you look for heavy armor, chest. Okay, so I know it's at least 50,000 gold right now in the trading post. And by the way, it's not because something is listed for a price that is worth that much, but you know, everything is above that, and the listing is fresh. So you know it's worth somewhere uh, around that price. Now, if you have a 600 piece with a third perk, 
um, you might want to, well, you, you might want to just start with your search like that because there are so few results already. So, um, okay, so Thundery Shockwave, refresh, Refreshing Evasion, Healing Tomb. Okay, so if you had um, a Freedom role, which there are zero of on the trading post, and you still want to know the volume, you could talk to other players that you know have an idea of the market. They might be able to tell you, um, but that might not be the answer you're looking for. Maybe you want to look uh, for the price yourself. I would go on one of the two forums, or should I say Discord sites. Um, the two uh, this Discord sites I would recommend are um, New World Market. So look for New World Market Discord or New World Global Trading Post. Those two, um, if you look for, um, you know, in the right uh, sub-channel, you're, you're going to find uh, those items and the, the, um, you might find the items with um, the right, well, with the price, but most of the time you have to contact the sellers to have an idea of uh, how much they're asking. So it's not the best tool, uh, ideally, you want to talk with other players. It's a faster and simpler answer. Um, but if you really cannot find the answer to your question or don't know the right people that have you know the game knowledge, then um, you'll have to contact those sellers, ask them if they have a current offer, a buyout, and it should be um, you know a good indication of how much that piece is worth, or at the very least, how much they're asking for. Um, so yeah. Uh, and then a uh, general rule of thumb for PV gear uh, on the weapons, you want a Bane perk. On the armor, you want a Ward perk for the specific type of monster you're fighting against. I would say that uh, you need to look for named items for PV gear, because especially for Corrupted and Ancient gear, there exists in the game some good uh, named items. So unless you have some weapon perks on those items, they're probably not going to sell more than um, for more than you know a few. Uh, let's say in the five digits, uh, it's rare that you're going to see anything sell for um, anything PV um, PV related for anything above a hundred k. That can happen, but that would need to be a real bis uh, piece of gear and most likely a weapon. So great swords, for example, if you have trenchant uh, strikes, bane, and attunement, or maybe kini empowered, or even chain, uh, you you're probably going to find buyers for above a hundred k because it's so expensive to roll great swords nowadays. Um, for PvP, I would say you want to look for resilient. So I'll just give an example: resilient, freedom would be uh, already um, you know, a few thousands uh, for most pieces if they have the right attributes and the right weight. And then um, if you add shirking port to that or elemental aversion, especially for, uh, sorry, especially for light armor, elemental aversion will be um, in, um, in big demand, uh, generally speaking. Um, you might want some refreshing perks, uh, most refreshing perks are valuable uh, for light and medium. I would say refreshing, refreshing evasion, and for uh, heavy armor, it's most likely going to be refreshing, refreshing ward uh, that is going to be in demand uh, or more valuable, I should say. Um, what else? Uh, for the weapons, refreshing move is generally speaking quite expensive because of the um, uh, the craft mods. So the few craft craft mods you, you need to be aware of that are quite expensive um, is anything so basically anything you see uh, that has refreshing move or um, grab well um, uh, one sec uh, the refreshing perks mostly refreshing I should say refreshing is expensive uh, shirking fort is definitely expensive um, oh, of course, freedom. Uh, freedom is expensive. Um, and then uh, basically for amulets, uh, if you're looking to price check the most expensive amulets in the game, 
generally will come with health stamina and then depending on the meta uh, trust or um splash protection oh, one sec yeah slash protection so that would be around three hundred thousand on uh castle of seal at least um if you don't have health but you do have uh you know uh, other decent perks um I'm not sure what the third would be but anything that is usable you might be able to get something near 10,000 uh, but that won't happen often and then for PvE uh, amulets you want elf and then any of the protection perks um, so those perks uh, if it's 600 with a third good perk uh, you can easily get 50,000 with the right attributes. Uh, that would be strength, dex, um, and even constitution. Um, for earrings, anything that has refreshing toast is already a good start. Then purifying toast is, an, is another desirable one. And then some people like healthy toast. Um, you, you might find some people uh, go for nimble. Um, uh, yeah, basically, earrings are not as expensive because the shards are not as expensive uh, and there are some decent um, uh, named items also for earrings, which is not necessarily the case for rings, just to give an example. So if you're looking for keen awareness, invigorated punishment, just to give an example, there are barely any in the trading post uh, and empower... Well, that's going to be nerfed apparently, but a mortal, mortal empowerment and then let's say a specific type of damage um, should be expensive or actually it seems like there's none because I checked gone. Actually, there's just none. Okay. So uh, that's probably something that would... Uh, that's something that would have to... Um, check on the forums or discuss with friends uh, friends with uh, game knowledge uh, for the weapons um uh, general rule of thumb if it's a life staff it needs blessed if it's a dps weapon it most likely will um, be best in slot if it has an attunement then some other perks to consider are chain chain perks rogue specific weapon perks on certain weapons the weapon perks are good uh, like the fireball for the fire staff is something that people uh, will pay a decent amount for uh, then enchanted vicious king are sometimes best in slot trenchant recovery trenchant strikes for great swords are quite good uh, kinney jagged kinney empowered uh, those are desirable perks on many weapons um, I'm sure I forgot a ton of, um, you know, uh, points, um, but the general idea and the, the, um, the boring answer is you need to play the game, you need to discuss with other players, you need to know about the meta, especially the PvP meta around wars um, is where I would start to um, determine the price of different items and then uh, ask yourself the questions I had earlier in the video, and I'll, I'll include those in the description so you can refer to those quickly. But basically just um, repeat myself. What is the gear score? Is it 590 plus, if not salvage? If yes, look at the attributes. Are the attributes single attributes or mixed attributes? If they are mixed, are they con constitution plus another attribute and is uh, that specific piece, the right weight for the meta right now? If all those answers are yes, uh, sorry, if all the questions, uh, so all the answers to those questions are yes, then you want to check if on the armor, if it's a PvP or PvE piece, depending uh, which one it is. For PvP, you're looking at the cost of um, the... Um, the craft mods and you're also looking at the rarity um, of the role you're looking for and then the final point is is there a named item that already exists in the game that does something similar or even is actual this 
um, then you know you, you probably don't want to craft that piece. You want to just farm it. Uh, if there is nothing um, that is droppable in the game, any if there is no named item, then you really want to, again, look at the price of the craft mods and the rarity. And then if the piece exists on the trading post, you can compare um, your piece to that piece. Look at the how many days are left on the, um, the offers. If there's only one, for example, and it's it's been on the trading post for 10 days, you know it's worth less than what they're asking for. Then how much is it really worth? Um, you can answer that question by looking at um, sites like uh, Eternum Craft. Um, just one sec. Yeah, Eternum Craft. And look at the probability of getting those uh, a role like uh, a similar role. And again, um, by knowing how many roles it will take in average, just look at how many or, or calculate how much it would cost you in average to get that item. And it's probably going to be worth less than the average of roles uh, times the cost per roll because there they are, they are people that are going to drop that piece. Uh, some people are just uh, rolling for something else and for them it's just a byproduct. And so you're most likely going to find that the price, the real price, the market price is less than the crafting, uh, the craft, uh, the crafting cost, I should say. So just keep all of that in mind keep learning about the game, keep learning about the meta, especially the war meta, and you should be able to make more. So just keep everything I just mentioned in that video in mind when you drop or craft an item, when you want to sell or buy anything in this game. It's really simple, but it takes time to get those answers. Well, I, I hope you found that video helpful. Please let me know if I, if I forgot anything, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.